we have another throwback Thursday for you today. Joining us once again is Lori Kent with the Local Lou podcast. Thank you so much for joining us this yes. morning, Lori. Thanks for having me, guys. What are we talking about today? Well, I'm going to kind of use this historical marker to kick us in the direction of some holiday history here in Sioux Falls. Um, Arrowhead Park is the historical marker, and it's located at Arrowhead Park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and this historical marker talks about how in 1982, Dale and Dorothy Weir, a Sioux Falls couple, they buy this land, 131 acres of prairie, for a summer home. So they live in Sioux Falls during the year and scoot out to this little piece of heaven mm -hmm. <laughs> um, for, for the summer. And it's in what used to be East Sioux Falls, which was at one point a rock quarry town and that's not just a clever name it's literally east of Sioux Falls um, so they end up living there for for several years during the summer and then in 1999 they sell that or they were going to sell it but instead they give it to the city of Sioux Falls as a gift which is amazing um, this is a beautiful gift to the city and it's to be used as a nature park and so the city does that but that's not where Dale and Dorothy Weir's generosity ends. Dale and Dorothy were husband and wife. Um, they were also business partners and they did really well. And one, one day they were driving down Minnesota Avenue together and he and Dale asked his wife what she would like for Christmas. And she pointed outside to a 50 foot pine tree mm -hmm. off of 14th and Minnesota, <laughs> give or take, right around 14th mm -hmm. and Minnesota. And she said, I love that tree decorated for Christmas, which is oh. kind of a sweet, mm -hmm. she must have had a very content life. <laughs> that yes. That's what she wanted for yeah. Christmas. And I guess Dale was kind of a romantic. I mean, but still my heart. Mm -hmm. This guy buys that land and the tree and gets it decorated for Christmas. Aww. Dale continues to have this tree decorated for Christmas for years. And when his wife Dorothy does pass in 2003, he continues to have it decorated. Aww. When Dale's own, uh, when Dale's life is nearing its end, he also makes a legacy gift to ensure that this tree will continue to be decorated. Which again, I mean, Oh, so that, so that's sweet. right in the heartstrings. Yeah. It really it's amazing. Does. So earlier this year, I was driving on Minnesota Avenue, and I noticed that the tree has this big brown spot on it, and a lot of the branches have fallen off. And I knew, I think a lot of people knew, that Dorothy's tree was dying. Mm -hmm. um, First United Methodist Church is the caretaker of this tree. They do this beautiful lighting ceremony every year, and they had to make this decision. So they didn't take it lightly. They had experts look at the tree I mean I think they really mm -hmm. tried <laughs> like yeah. they wanted this to to remain but to link up to what you guys were saying earlier about real tree or fake tree these mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. I mean the people go both ways but they really didn't have a choice and so they take down the old tree and they build a new platform and they put a 40-foot artificial tree it's very similar to the one that's outside of the Washington Pavilion mm -hmm. and so that is now the new Dorothy's tree and I think this is kind of of a beautiful symbol of the life, love, and loss that a lot of people have to mm -hmm. deal with during the holiday season. And so we can be sad that the tree is gone and we can wish it was here, but we can also be super grateful that we have this gift that they found a way to keep the spirit of mm -hmm. it alive. And, yeah. oh. and having the historical marker too and just remembering the history behind it is so important. Yeah, too. It's great. The legacy of Dorothy mm -hmm. kind of continues to live on and now with an artificial tree it seems it could live on forever. Yeah I agree we have decades ahead of us where people are going to remember Dorothy's tree and it's amazing to think that Dale and Dorothy they donated that land for Arrowhead Park and then they made this new holiday tradition in Sioux Falls and it's like who's going to be the next Dale and Dorothy in Sioux Falls? <laughs> yeah. Yes there you go and I don't know because the, that amount of love that Dale showed is unprecedented. So it is. That touches yeah. your heart for sure. <laughs> Definitely. It's a very sweet holiday story. Well, yeah. thank you for joining us. Thank this you. Week.